Tonight, important information about bee stings for parents and for anybody who spends time outdoors. What should you do if you get stung? Pull out the stinger, leave it in, ice it? Lots of questions. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez here with Bee Stings 101. Got a surprising remedy there, Dr. Max? We'll get to that in just one second, Christine. You know, lots of bugs, and bi bugs bite and sting this time of the year, from mosquitoes to wasps and even spiders. But bee stings are probably the most common and misunderstood. Turns out bee sting first aid includes something from your medicine cabinet, two things from your fridge, and something from your pantry. As the temperature rises and kids get out of school, we head outdoors to play, get a little sunshine, and share time with our six-legged friends. Unfortunately, they don't always want to share their space, and we end up getting stung. Honeybees are the only insects that leave their stingers behind, which is why they die after stinging. But what to do after a sting? We asked some parents and kids from PS321 in Brooklyn. I was always told you put uh, baking soda and water on it to get the swelling down. I would say just ice it. You know, if someone's allergic, I think you need an EpiPen or something. I guess I would look for if the stinger was still in there. Are you supposed to take the stinger out and then um, probably ice it? First of all, if it tries to come again, kick it in the face. Actually, all of those are good first aid for bee stings, except for the kicking in the face part. First, look for the stinger and try to get it out, but do it right. Don't try to squeeze it because that'll actually squeeze more venom out. What you want to do is try to pull it out with a tweezer, or if you don't have one available, try to at least scratch it out with your nail. Ice keeps the venom from spreading and numbs the area. A paste of baking soda also helps soothe the sting, as does an antihistamine lotion or even oatmeal to ease the itching. And here's a surprise remedy, meat tenderizer. The same enzyme that breaks down the protein in meat to tenderize it also breaks down bee venom, which is mostly protein. Then just remember... I mean, you know, it's going to hurt for a while, but the pain will go away. Eventually, anyway. Now, if the biter sting causes a raised rash that looks like hives, call your doctor. You might need something stronger than meat tenderizer. If you're having trouble breathing or swallowing, call 911 immediately. An allergic reaction to the sting could be life-threatening. Christine Maurice. Okay, Doc, thank you so much. I don't know about you. Don't always have meat tenderizer on hand. <laughs> no. I'm just saying. You know what? I don't even know if I own one, to be honest I with you. I don't even know. But I've never been stung by a bee. I have. have you? I have, yeah, a long time ago as a kid. No, Lonnie's chiming in. He's like, you've never been stung by bee. Hey, it's, no. it's a rite of passage. No. It's, a, it's an American thing. I, I mean, I know. No. Yeah, I've been stung a bunch. Yeah, same here. My kids, too. Gotta be careful. They don't like me. Meat tenderizer, a new use. They should put on the label. What about